What's up guys, it's Wallace here and welcome back to episode number 4 now of Pack to the Future. The first thing I do want to say to you guys, thank you ever so much for all the love you are showing on every single episode. The first two episodes hit 10,000 likes and episode number 3 hit 8,000 likes, which is absolutely incredible. So if we could smash 10,000 likes again on this episode, that would be absolutely ridiculous. But talking of ridiculous... My record at the minute, it is absolutely diabolical. I can't win to save my life. As you can see, this is the team. We are running on 60 chemistry, and I only seem to be coming up against 100 chemistry squads, and they always have pacey strikers, which tear my defence, especially my goalkeeper, a new arsehole. But anyway, hopefully, we'll be able to pick up uh, some wins in this episode, and that will lead us to opening and keeping some of the packs that we do open. But anyway, let's jump into our first game of the episode, and fingers crossed, for the love of God, please, can I actually get a win? Right then, lads, we are going into our first game of the episode. He's got 64... Oh, he's got fucking Remy, Sherla, and Sterling, but... He does have 64 chemistry, so hopefully that will work in my advantage, because we've got the same chemistry, but he's got Remy, and if you remember what happened last time when I played against Remy, I don't even want to fucking talk about it, because he tore me an arsehole, pretty much, and it hurt, and we got a loss, and we had to discard packs, but anyway, hopefully, that won't happen today, and hopefully we can get a win, hopefully these useless bunch of ball bags that I have in my starting 11 can actually get me a win. This is it, this is it, lads! It's not. He's bought his keeper out and it's confused me. Back post. Corner. Oh my god, he fucking... Just leave it to go out. Right, we've got a corner. Come on. Jarvis, I don't think we've scored a corner yet this series. Yes! Yes! We won the one about fucking time in this series that we took the lead. That has been a long time coming. Because I've been punishing his goalkeeper. We've had three great opportunities. Oh my god, right. We're one pack up. We are finally one pack up. Let's double that. Yes! Another fucking deflection. I feel like a scumbag, but my god, this result is exactly what we needed. And I didn't even know we were going to get a chance there, but I'm going to show the goal because I was sat there quietly. Look at this. Nice through ball. How that didn't go in is just classic my luck. And we got the rebound. 2-0. Let's make, let's make it 4. Come on. Come on. Nice ball into the box. There we are. Beautiful. Oh, that would have been a really nice goal from Charles. Oh, my God. He's, he's fucked up. Penalty. What? Yes. There we are. That... I don't know how that wasn't a penalty. Do you guys think that was a penalty? Because I thought it was. I was inside the box. I turned my back to the defender. And he brought me down without touching the ball. So, for me, that's the definition of a penalty. So, I tramped it across the box, pretty much. And uh, it's 3-0. I mean, it looks like we're going to be going into half-time 3-0 up. Unless he scores now, which would be embarrassing. Right, he didn't score. And because of that, 45th minute, half-time, we are 3-0 up. To be honest with you... My opposition hasn't been in this game at all. I, like, generally couldn't even notice his Remy was on the pitch. There we are. I've had nine shots. He's had two. So, uh, as long as his older brother doesn't take over in the second half, looks like we're going to be getting a couple of packs. How has he missed that? That was the nicest bit of dribbling I've seen in a while from the... Oh, oh I thought he'd fucked up. And he can't even hit the target. That was that Ben Yedder guy, that French player that I've put up front. Oh my god, he should have scored that. Oh my, I am lucky that didn't go in. That was his best chance this game, and he fucked it up pretty much. Charles is away. Charles is away. He's away. Bury it! Oh my god, you took an extra touch. This bronze Charles guy is... Fucking so bad. It is unreal. Oh, if he doesn't score this. Why did I fucking fill it? Wait, I don't even... Why am I blaming myself? That Ben Yedder guy is a bag of dick. Can't... Get... Are you, what the fuck are they doing? Are they, like, bumming each other? 
He can't even cross into the box, that Ben Yedder guy. What the fuck? But anyway, that is the full-time whistle. And finally, we've ruffle stomped a game and we've won it 3-0. And that only means one thing, three packs. If I didn't win that game, like, I don't even know. Like, the pressure would have been too much for me to handle. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's open the three packs. Right then, as always, I'm not going to edit this bit so you can see that I don't cheat on the packs or whatever. So, we're opening three 7,500 coin packs. There are Team of the Season packs, but I don't know how I could include them into the series. Uh, because I think for one goal, opening a 15k pack is a little bit too much. But if you have an idea on how they could be included in the series somehow, please do let me know. So, our first pack... We've got Inan, who is a very, he's actually a really solid um, centre centre midfielder. Uh, we've got a nice gold striker who I'm definitely going to use. Lima, a Brazilian striker. That's it. He's going to be in my starting eleven without a doubt. Um, and I need to send them to the rest of the club. I really need to make sure not to discard everything else because normally I do discard a lot of things because I'm only opening packs for players. But in this series, it's not just the players um, I need to keep hold of. I need to keep hold of contracts and things like that, just to help me out. I mean, I could buy them with the coins, because that isn't a rule not to. Uh, but yes, yeah, second pack then, who are we going to be getting? Vertonghen. Oh, we got some nice players here. So we've got Vertonghen, a centre-back. Uh, we've got another Brazilian striker. Um, we got Gonzalez, who is a pacey right midfielder, so hopefully he could get in there somehow. We've got another um, Italian right winger. And then finally, we have a, I want to say Croatian. Is that Croatian? Yes, it is. See, my geography is on point. A geography centre midfielder. But we've still got one more pack to go. Imagine if we got a team of the season or a team of the week. Any of them would be unbelievable. But this is it, the last and final one. We're going with a pack with Cahill on it. Come on, Cahill. Who are you going to... I'm going to skip this one, actually. I've decided. Spontaneous skip. All right, let's go. Cissé, hello. You are definitely going into the starting starting squad. Um, we've got a Brazilian centre defensive mid. Again, that is going to help with our, out with our chemistry. And we also got a Spanish centre attacking mid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go have a little play around with the squad, see who I can get in, see how much chemistry I can get. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with you in literally two seconds. Okay then, lads, this is the squad we are going to be playing our last game with. I haven't really done too much with it, apart from I've put Lima up front, which now does mean we do have five Brazilians in the starting uh, 11, which is going to be helping out of our chemistry, and especially the three up front. Two Brazilian strikers and one Brazilian centre attacking mid does mean that they are all riding... Seven chemistry, it's not as if it's nine or ten, but seven is definitely better than what it was before. But, we do have one more game to play, hopefully we can get some more packs from that game. And uh, yeah, let's see what our, our opposition looks like. Okay, last game of the episode, 71 chemistry, Remy and Hernandez. Oh my fucking god, bullet to the fucking brain, and Kabul. Oh, okay, this is going to be a really interesting game. Remy did nothing last game, but the first game when I came up against him, you'll all remember what happened to my arsehole. So hopefully, he has another quiet game, and we can get some more packs. Are you fucking kidding me? Lima's injured, and look at this for a, a class P-roller. Oh, I didn't even see it. Lima's injured. Oh, what the fuck? I have two injuries. And we're 15 minutes in. Wow. What the fuck is going on? Our right midfield is injured. And Lima. So, yeah. This is going to be a lot tougher than I originally thought. That was a fucking quality goal. Oh, my God. Not another loss in Division 10. This is so embarrassing. I've got Lima injured, my right midfielder's injured. Oh my god, I've got to deal with Remy. Look, another fucking injury. How? <laughs> this lag is fucking impossible to play in. That is the last thing I need. Stupid lag. Hate to be a whiny little bitch, but there's fucking lag. Right, that's half time and I'm 2 0 down. And I'm not happy because I haven't even had, a, I don't even think I've had a shot. Oh god, right, I'm gonna come back in the second half, watch. Actually, I said I hadn't had a shot. It's actually a lot more even than I thought. And I've had, 
I've got two injuries. Oh, what a goal. What a fucking goal. I think that's my injured right midfielder as well. But that was a beautiful crack. I, didn't, I thought it was going to go wide. Oh, we're kind of back in it. 2-1 down. I want to see that goal again. I honestly did not expect that goal. Over the top. Take a touch. Have a crack. That's a great goal. And he's got Begovic in goal. I've got some... I've got someone that doesn't even know how to move. Oh, I'm not over the top to Remy. Oh, you scumbag. There we are. Get rid. Oh, I've just given him a corner. I hate corners. Especially when he's got Yunus Kabul. He does have Yunus Kabul, but for some reason he's paused. He quit! He quit! I told you there was lag. I wasn't lying. And because of that, that means we get three packs because it's a DNF. I get a 3-0 victory there. Oh, my God. Oh, that is that is beautiful. For once, I'm actually glad someone rage quit. I was 2-1 down, and I've got the win, and we now have to open three packs. All right, let's go. Three packs. I'm actually excited now. All right, then. Come on. Let's get these opened. Three packs. What, what, what are we going to get? Come on. El Shawari. Give us someone. Imagine if we got a team of the season. Oh, my God. That would be awesome. I'm not going to skip this one. I want to see who we are getting. Wow. All right, we've got a kind of pacey striker. 89, uh, 87 pace. Uh, who else? Uh, we've got a gold goalkeeper. That's actually... I'm going to consider that. That's a good pack. Simply because of the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper we have at the minute... The bronze bag aids. He's crap. He literally just dives over everything. So that would be good to get him into the starting 11. Right then, pack number two. We are going with a Falcao. Who are we getting? Falcao, come on. Come on. Glandon Donovan. That is... That's decent, that is. A centre forward. So maybe I can play him at the cam position. Uh, we've got De Jong. Uh, he's actually the cam version, not the other, because there's two De Jong's in the game. Um, uh, yeah, that's not a bad pack. Let's send that all to the club. And now we have one more pack to go. We've opened two. This is our third. Come on. Messi, just give me yourself. Wait, if I get, if I got, if I got Messi, that means it would be team of the season version. That would be incredible. Who are we getting? Come on. Walcott! Oh, yes! Oh, my God. That's actually a really nice pack. Because now we can... That means we can make a uh, BPL squad. Because we are, now have six BPL players. Um, who else? Walcott with his disgusting pace. And we've now got quite a few Italians, actually. So what I will have to do for next series for you... Uh, episode, beg your pardon. I'm just going to send them all to the club. Is I'm going to have a play around with the squad. And see whether I want to stick with the Brazilians... Or maybe move on to a BPL more looking side. Because we have a lot of Brazilians. We've got a lot of Italians. And we've also got a lot of BPL players. But anyway, that is the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If we could smash 10,000 likes, that would be absolutely insane. We've opened six packs in this episode. Because uh, uh, some guy quit. And uh, that gave us a uh, DNF of 3-0. And then we also won our first game at 3-0. Anyway, so six packs have been absolutely awesome. Ten likes would be equally as awesome. And until my next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.